New details tonight involving a gruesome crime in Waller County. A woman found murdered, her body dismembered, her husband now facing potential murder charges. That 21 year old man is in the Waller County Jail, and that is where KPRC 2's Robert Arnold picks up the story. Robert. Waller County Sheriff Troy Guidry says they do have a confession, but he will not comment on a possible motive. He did say, though, the 21 year old Jared Dykes did wait for deputies to arrive at the home where his wife was killed. It's a gruesome scene at best. Sheriff Troy Guidry said Jared Dykes shared a home with his new bride that is directly behind his parents' home in the Oak Hollow subdivision. On Wednesday afternoon, Dykes went into his parents' house and said something that concerned them. When they saw something wasn't feeling right for them, they approached the house that they were living in, and that's when they found what they found. Guidry said Dykes' wife, Angie Diaz, was found partially dismembered in a kitchen knife is believed to be the murder weapon. Gidry said Dykus was then arrested. We brought him back for his witness statement, and that's when he confessed to it. The couple married last October. Waller County Judge Trey Duhon officiated the ceremony and posted a statement reading. During my short time with them, they were a very nice young couple. As with many of you, I'm greatly saddened and shocked by the news of this tragic event. No matter what type you walked in or what time it was or how you felt or whatever, her smile just lit up the room. It was incredible. Diaz worked at Chepe's meat market in Taqueria. She was a great person, intelligent and hardworking. Manager Ruth Armendari says Diaz did also talk about her brief marriage to Dykus. No, she wasn't happy. She said he was one person before they got married and another person after who became very jealous. Dykus remains in the Waller County Jail, and Sheriff Guidry says he is likely facing murder charges. When we spoke with Waller County District Attorney Elton Mathis, he said his office is still reviewing all of the evidence before commenting on specific charges. Reporting live from the Waller County Sheriff's Office, Robert Arnold, KPRC 2 News.